guys, we're back at uh, Premier Pitching HQ this morning uh, doing some live at-bats here. Uh, we're kind of getting some guys out uh, for the season, getting back to spring training, getting back to their seasons, and I'm still rocking and rolling here with the, with the crew that we got in-house still. Uh, but, but we're going to go through some live at-bats. I've worked all the way up, starting back in October through an on-ramp, through the builds, through the velo phases, through the pitch design phases. I'm on a... a a two inning up uh, today doing this. So we got a couple guys coming in house. Gonna be a fun day. So I like doing live at bats this time of year. Uh, it really helps me, I think, mentally and physically prepare. Uh, I was just sharing a story like the last bullpen that I threw, the hardest one I threw at the very end was 92. And just that extra adrenaline, I guess, as a hitter gets in there, really helps push the like the stress or workload on your body, just naturally with a hitter standing in there because we're all competitive. So that's one big thing. But then also mentally trying to lock in into sequences and things that are going to be expected of you uh, in the season when a hitter actually gets in the box and, and you're actually being evaluated. So uh, you know, taking that step from from bullpen environment where failure is kind of you know, much, much smaller, you know, you're, basically your failure is however you perceive your failure in that instance. And when you get into spring training, you obviously have a result and an outcome from a hitter or, you know, somebody evaluating you the whole time, or if you get into your college season or high school season as well. So uh, kind of taking that next step of, of this progression, you know, from bullpen, you know, mentally and physically, those are probably the two biggest benefits that I've felt out of it. So we're about to get through some hitters here and uh, uh, this is my first two inning day of this off season. but they, the consistency wise of the cutter I like was either way on the side or way on that side. So yeah, it's probably a direct correlation to For being sure. a tick early and you know, the same result on fastball it just was, arm was late basically. Yeah, arm was late. late. Yeah. Ooh. I got you. What's your track man got? I'm Carter Mize. I'm training here at P3. I'm first baseman and outfielder, and I'm an independent ball. Uh, the live eight beats help me a lot. Um, obviously, these guys are really good pitchers, and uh, we're inside, obviously. So it's tough from a hitting perspective, but um, you get outside, and it looks a lot easier. So I'm glad I can get in here and uh, hit off these dudes and you know make myself better. Good. We like to finish up the off season uh, portion of the calendar with some live A-Bs. 
a lot of the guys uh, for the past uh, you know month or so have been working on some pitch design uh, we've discussed maybe some uh, usage suggestions for the arsenal so this is an opportunity to take it out test drive it uh, before you know the results are uh, you know kept in a stat book so to speak so just another feedback loop for these guys uh, trying to provide those all along the the journey here um, sometimes we go out there with a specific focus other times uh, you know we're going out there and, and kind of reacting to what we we have that day or what the hitters uh, are telling us and, and go to work so it's a fun part of the year guys love it we get the adrenaline flowing it's awesome for the coaches to you know, also be around that environment and, and kind of go from the, the lab setting to the game setting. That's it for today, uh, wrapping up the live ABs. Uh, some soreness is setting in. I gotta get in uh, a little bit of an upper body lift here, uh, finish my post throw stuff. Uh, so I've done some of these in the past too. You guys have kind of seen the ebbs and flows. I wanna dive a little bit deeper on like why it's beneficial. It's beneficial for, for multiple different reasons like you've, like you've seen and heard from the multiple people talking on this video here so far. Uh, but uh, re really this is the this is the culmination of the entire off season and uh, in the future I want to kind of maybe lay out a little bit more of how we got here but uh, uh, this will start my day or this will start my week uh, for the entire next week and I'll operate based off of this day you know so this this day one you know of my program is game day and uh, comes with a certain set of uh, um, you know post throw exercises and lifting and conditioning that kind of come off of it and then I'll take what day that I I want to throw live next and line up all my days between now and then of what I need to do to kind of keep my arm fresh, uh, keep keep the strength that I've built up through the off season, and uh, and doing that is kind of unique based off of you know if you're a starting pitcher, relief pitcher, when you're going to throw next, how many days you have been between in all those things. Uh, but uh, but the arms are feeling good, the hitters are starting to see some pitches. We're getting closer to baseball season, and uh, and it's an exciting time around here. So so if you guys like this video, be sure to like, comment, subscribe on. It. Uh, drop any comments you guys have any questions love to answer them and, and talk more about them but uh, uh, we're gonna move throughout this week kind of kind of hit the ground running into uh, uh, some lower body and recovery tomorrow and, uh, and kind of get back in through the week with a with a bullpen and uh, have some upper body and lower body lifts throughout the week next week and go into a live setting uh, you know next Friday again so appreciate it <laughs>